Hey everybody, it's Michael from Wahoo Comics here with another haul and speculation video. And as usual, I got a bunch of books that I'm looking forward to showing to you today. First of all, the one I'm most personally excited about comes from the seller that I've been buying from for several weeks now, and that's this one, Daredevil number eight. And this book checks a lot of boxes for me. First of all, it's the first appearance of Stiltman, who you see here on the cover, who is perhaps the most B-tier list villain ever. Uh, but as you know, I love to collect first appearances of villains, and so I'm really excited to have this one for that reason. But I also think this is actually a, a good investment right now. Uh, first of all, it's an early Daredevil key. And in general, I think Daredevil books, especially the early ones, are really undervalued right now. I think they're going to rise in price over time. Uh, but this particular book has a lot of potential uh, because Stiltman actually plays a huge role in the comic books and the Armor Wars storyline. Now we know there's an Armor Wars series that's coming to Disney Plus, and we don't know what characters they're going to use. We don't know how closely it's going to be based on the comic storyline. But if it stays close and it has Stiltman in it, this book will explode in value. So I think it's a pretty safe investment. You know, it's obviously not going to be a, a super cheap one. Uh, I did get a good deal on it, uh, but it's going to, at worst, steadily rise in value over time. Uh, you know, a Silver Age book, uh, they're pretty safe investments. And at best, it's going to explode. And so a low floor, a high ceiling, uh, but I'm just really happy to have it for my own personal collection. A second all, another Daredevil book, uh, this one. Daredevil 105 and I've got to give a shout out to the hobbyist who in the comments section of my last video uh, told me to keep an eye out for Moon Dragon uh, keys. Uh, Moon Dragon is a, a character that especially is involved in the cosmic realm of the Marvel Universe and it seems like that series of characters are going to grow in the coming years and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And so there's a lot of speculation that Moon Dragon is going to be introduced. Uh, and so uh, her first appearance is in Iron Man 54, but as Madame McEvil. And this one, though, Daredevil 105, is the first time that that individual is called Moon Dragon. And so this is the second best issue to have. I, I do want to get the Iron Man at some point. It's, of course, less affordable than this one. Uh, but I think this is a good one uh, to be getting, and so uh, thanks to the hobbyists for putting me onto it. Uh, and then another shout out from the comments of the last video will go to Aaron Heisler, who who uh, put me on looking for Namor keys. And I just closed a deal on a big Namor key today, uh, and it'll probably be a couple weeks before it gets in the mail. I'm still working with the seller on maybe getting a couple other issues from him. Uh, but I'm really excited about showing it off at some point. Uh, and so shout out to Aaron as well. Uh, and let you guys know, hey, you know, I'm trying to give some information here, but obviously there's so much information out there. So I really appreciate when you put things in the comments, putting me onto books, telling me which ones to, to look out for. I need your help uh, as much as hopefully I'm, I'm giving you some help. Uh, so I'm really happy to have that one. All right. The, most of the rest of the books I'm going to show you to you today are ones that I've recently got from back issue bins or online for kind of back issue bin prices. So all these are like one to five dollars uh, that I picked up, but I think that are great investments at that at that price. Uh, and already most of them are going for much more than that, uh, like on eBay. Uh, so first are a series of books from uh, the Green Lantern series. I think Green Lantern keys are really good ones to be picking up right now. As you might know, there's going to be an HBO uh, Max series on, on the Green Lanterns. And DC has really lagged behind Marvel in terms of their comic books growing in value because the Marvel Universe, Cinematic Universe, has just been more popular than the DC one. Uh, but I really think these TV shows that DC is starting to put on HBO Max I have a lot of hope that they're going to help the DC comics really rise in value, and I think Green Lantern is going to be at the start of that. And I personally love Green Lantern. He's always been maybe probably my favorite DC superhero, him or Batman. Obviously, everybody loves Batman, but Green Lantern is right there with him. Uh, the first book 
I don't have a copy of until this one, until just this week. And this is this, Green Lantern number 25. And so this is the final issue of the Sinestro Core War. Uh, but more importantly, in terms of investment value, it has the first cameo appearances of several characters. Atrocitus in the Red Lantern Corps, or Fleas in the Orange Lantern Corps, St. Walker in the Blue Lantern Corps, uh, Monk in the Indigo Lantern Corps, and then the Black Lantern Corps. And so if any of those characters are introduced in that series, this book is going to explode in value. It's already uh, a high value book, I mean, for, for a modern book. Uh, I got it for $5, which I couldn't believe. I, I, I had just written off uh, ever getting this. Um, but it's going for much more than that already. But this one is for my personal collection. The rest I'm going to show you, I already had a copy. Uh, I actually started collecting Green Lantern right after this issue, basically. Uh, so I had missed out on it and always regretted it. Now I'm glad to have it. These other ones are good ones to pick up and ones I will flip uh, probably closer to the time the, the series comes out, especially if we get word that any of these characters are confirmed. And so first of all, we have Green Lantern 28. Uh, and this is the first full appearance of Atrocitus, and then Green Lantern number 39. All these so far are from volume four. Uh, this is the first appearance of Larflees, first full appearance. And both Atrocitus and Larflees are characters I love. Uh, they're kind of villainous, uh, you know, parts of the, the colored core of the, the Green Lantern mythos. Um, and then also Green Lantern 43, and this is when the Black Hand uh, becomes a Black Lantern. Also from Volume 5, we have Green Lantern number 0. And this is the origin of Simon Boz, who's one of the newer Green Lanterns. His first appearance was in a free comic book day issue. Uh, but then his first appearance kind of in a regular title was this one. And it contains his origin. Uh, and so it's also a good one to pick up. And a really good one to pick up if you can find uh, at, at a you know a good price for five dollars or less. Great one. This is Green Lantern Core 201, and so this is the first appearance of Kilowog, and he is confirmed uh, to be in the show. We don't know if all these other characters are going to be. Uh, they may be, um, and especially if the series goes on multiple seasons, I'm sure they they all will be. But we do know Kilowog is going to be there. And so now is a great time to be picking this book up. All right, I'm on the lookout for other Green Lantern keys, but those are the ones that I've just picked up recently. Another series of books that I've picked up uh, that have really kind of been growing, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, are first appearances, or, or the first time popular heroes meet. And usually, of course, if you know how the storylines work, they meet and there's some misunderstanding and they fight, then they work together. Uh, but there's a few that I've picked up um, that have really started to pick up in value and are great uh, books to pick up again at that uh, $5 or under price point. First of all, there's this one, Punisher Annual Number 2. And I've actually picked up four copies of this in the past two weeks. Uh, and I'm going to keep this one probably for my personal collection and then try to flip the others. I think this is probably the best condition one. Um, but this is the first appearance, or the first meeting, of course, of the Punisher and Moon Knight. Uh, two of my favorite characters, two very popular characters. Uh, and so this book has really been growing in value, especially over the past really two or three weeks. Uh, and there are rumors that John Berthal is going to be, who's the, who is going to reprise his role as the Punisher in the MCU, is going to be the Punisher in the Moon Knight series. And if that happens and these two actually meet in that series, Again, this book will explode. It's already grown a lot, um, but it will explode if that happens. So if you can find this, pick it up. A couple other uh, first meetings that I don't think will actually happen in the MCU, but still are, are I think, good investments, especially this one. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents 117. This is the first meeting of Venom and Wolverine. Uh, and of course, again, two popular characters. It's a Sam Keith cover. Um, and so this is a great pickup, really been rising in value. You have Venom, of course, the rights to him are in the Sony universe, right now at least. Uh, and then Wolverine is now, will someday be in the Marvel universe now that Marvel ha D Disney has the Fox movies. Uh, so I don't know if they'll ever actually meet in the MCU, but still they're two very popular characters. 
Uh, and so this book is a, a, good, a good investment. And likewise, Iron Man uh, 302, not quite as a uh, good investment as the last one, but still this is the first meeting of uh, Venom and Iron Man. And so when I picked up for like a dollar, and so I was really excited to, to get that. All right, a couple of other uh, books that I picked up that I'll show real quick before ending the movie. First of all, we got Moon Knight, number 188. So I talked about before, I'm big on Moon Knight keys. Uh, and this is the first appearance of the Sun King. And I didn't really know anything about him. I, I heard this movie, or this issue had his first appearance. And I picked it up, I've read it, and man, he seems to be a super cool character. I'm gonna keep reading uh, through this arc, but he basically gets his powers from the sun god, like Moon Knight gets his from Khonshu, the, the moon god of the Egyptian myth mythos. And uh, so this is a good one uh, to pick up, again, if you can get it uh, close to, to cover price, which I did. Another one that I've been really surprised to find actually twice this year, uh, you know, under $5 is this one, Avengers West Coast, number 94. And this is the first appearance of War Machine as a character. So in Iron Man, the Iron Man series, the War Machine armor was introduced, but the different Iron Mans, both Tony Stark and Rhodey, wore the armor, but called it the War Machine armor. But this is the first time where the person wearing the armor, and it's Rhodey, of course, is called War Machine. And so this book also has been growing in value. The character has already been in the MCU, but will play a, a role in uh, Armor Wars, of course. And so a, a great one to pick up, you know, especially if you can get it for $5 or under. I don't think that's gonna happen much, um, so I'm very happy I did. Uh, and so, yeah, this is a good one. Still a good investment, even over five. Uh, then Captain America 307. Uh, this one cost me a little more than five. I got this for eight, uh, but I'm excited about that because uh, about a month ago I missed out. There were two issues I saw for $15 each, and I re had regretted not getting them because this is the first appearance of Madcap, uh, another villain, uh, but he is rumored to be the main villain of Deadpool 3, and the rumors are that actually going to be portrayed by Jim Carrey. And so this book has been climbing in value. I've been kicking myself for not picking it up for 15 before somebody else was able to snag it ahead of me. Um, so I am super excited. And then when I found this in a back issue bin uh, in, a, in a store I was at recently for just $8. But a great one to be picking up. I think this book will rise in value, uh, especially, of course, if those rumors are, are true. All right, the final book I'll show you this week is my sleeper of the week, and it's this one, Rick Mason, The Agent. Uh, and this is the first appearance of Rick Mason. So who's Rick Mason? So he is going to be a character in the Black Widow movie that's coming out in just a couple of weeks. And so I ordered this uh, from an online seller, and I was surprised, it's actually more of like a magazine size uh, book. I thought it was gonna be just like a regular sized comic book. Um, but this character is going to be in the Black Widow movie. Uh, I have not seen anybody talking about it. Uh, and so I got this for, I think, $5. I think it's a really great investment, uh, especially because I have a, a big prediction, a bold prediction. Uh, so one of the, the questions in the movie is, is if the Taskmaster, who's the villain and he wears a mask, is if it's any other character under the mask. And there's a lot of speculation that it's gonna be the uh, Rachel Wise character, uh, who's, who's called Iron Maiden in the comics. And I highlighted her first appearance a few weeks ago in Marvel Fanfare 11, which I think is also a good pickup if you can find it at a good price. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be her. I think either it's gonna be some, it's not gonna be important at all, or, I think it's gonna be this guy, Rick Mason. Uh, the reason I, I think that is because there's been a few trailers and he hasn't been in any of the trailers yet, even though he's confirmed to be in the cast. And I don't know why they wouldn't show him in the trailer. He, he seems to be, I think he's gonna be like a love interest of Black Widow maybe, uh, is, is my guess. And then there's gonna be a big twist that, oh no, her love interest is actually Taskmaster. So anyway, that's a bold prediction. Uh, but it's the one I'm making, so 
a couple weeks from now, once the movie comes out, either I'll look like a genius or, uh, or you won't listen to anything I have to say <laughs> again. But regardless, this guy uh, is going to be in, in the show. And so I think it's a good pickup uh, now. And we'll see. I'm really interested to see how his character is explored, especially, again, since in the trailer you haven't uh, seen anything about him. So that's all I have to show for you guys today. I uh, hope you liked what I had uh, to, to show to you. As always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, of course, I'd appreciate that. That'd be a big help. Uh, like, comment, tell me what books uh, you've been picking up that I should be looking for. Again, like I said in the last video, those comments really help me out. Uh, pick up a couple of new books and help me to know what to, what to be searching for in back issue bins and online. Um, and, and here's my question of the week. Uh, for you, like I always try to leave a question that you can answer in the comments. Talked a little bit about battle covers today. You know, we saw Punisher versus Moon Knight, Wolverine versus Venom, and then Venom versus Iron Man. What is your favorite battle cover of all time? What issue do you like? Uh, and so I'd really be interested in hearing uh, your favorite. I think mine might be that Punisher Moon Knight uh, cover. I really love both of those characters. Uh, and But I'm curious to see what you have to say. Anyway, that's all for now, and look forward to talking to you guys next time.